how do I focus on today and not worry about my future? Mm. I think for me, the biggest thing I've learned is that when I get super worked up about my future, I am not focusing on today at all. Like I'm so fixated on what might happen in my future. A lot of times that is, has everything to do with um, plans and dreams that I am concerned are gonna be canceled or shattered or are things are, you know, just the fear of the unknown in my future. You know, I think that the, the way that we answer that question, what, what we do with that question comes down to a fight with two words, what if. So when we, when we use the words, what if, we are essentially opening our, our minds to, to the worst possible things that could happen. And often when we use those two words, nothing that follows them is good or hopeful, and quite frankly, we can't ever even answer the rest of it. So we use those words and we do it as kind of like this defense mechanism to make plans for a future or for something that might happen. But really, we never even get around to making those plans because we're so paralyzed in fear at the question, at the thing, at the what if. And for now, I think that looks like a lot of different ways. It's what if someone I love dies of coronavirus? What if I lose my job during all this? Like, what if I can't feed my family? The important thing about that that we see in scripture is that we were never meant to, to get fixated on the future and the what if because we were supposed to live today for the right now. And we see that God shows us that multiple times in scripture with the Israelites when they are on their way to the promised land and they're in the wilderness and literally every single morning have to rely on God to give them the food that they need for that day. We get it in the Lord's prayer when we're taught how to pray. It's give me the daily bread that I need, just the bread for this day, not the bread that I need for my future. One of my new, like recently favorite stories is the woman who um, she's asked to use the last bit of oil and flour that she has in her home to make a loaf of bread to give to the prophet Elijah. And she knows that's it, that's her last bit. And yet she gives all of what she had today going on a promise that she trusted God so much with supplying the needs that she had for the future that she gave him what she had in that day. That's what we have to do when, in that, when we're in that fight like I was just talking about. When we hear ourselves use the words, what if, we have to immediately replace them with right now. We have to, we have to ground ourselves in right now and we have to say, okay, God, instead of what if, right now, this is what I feel. These are my fears, these are my anxieties, these are my struggles, this is what, this is, what is a pain for me. And we literally have to take it in our hands and give it to Him as a sacrifice right now, over and over and over again. And when we start to do that, when we get into that practice of taking those what ifs and turning them into right nows and giving God what I have right now, then we learn this practice of trusting God every single day. And our future begins to look not so scary. We're not projecting what we're feeling today on our future. We're not projecting our circumstance on our future. We're going through it that day, walking in communion with Him, letting Him be our guide and letting Him give us peace and comfort in that right now moment. You know, right now, everything we see is about distance. Everything is social distance, distance, distance. Like we are more spread apart and more separated from each other than we ever have been before. And yet there is an invitation from Jesus to come closer than we ever have before. That we don't have to be distant from Him. That in the right now and in, in today and whatever I'm feeling right now, I can get closer to Him than I ever have before. And as I do that, I'm gonna learn a different type of dependence and trust on Him. And my future is not gonna look so scary. And I'm not gonna think about it today because I'm focused on Him and I'm focused on what we are doing together today. Yeah.